have here some pistons for my 427 big block Chevy build. Finally. Added engine and machine pistons. Be there big multinational conglomerate buying up a bunch of companies among others. But that's who's on the bottom on the cover. specs to the pistons icon makes good shit limited availability on these 427 big block Chevy pistons Instructions on calculating your ring gap and your wrist pin retainers. Proper way to install them bastards. Message from the man. Of course, if you live in California, they got an extra message for you telling you if you look at these motherfuckers wrong, you just might get cancer. Because every fucking thing will give you cancer these days, don't you know? stickers you got a matching fucking pair and I'm assuming these are your spiral locks here's the magic Chambers in the heads. You gotta put a healthy dome on that motherfucker to get it back up there. By my calculations, this thing will be about. 12.5, 12.61 compression ratio range, which I'm probably going to end up running this fucker on E85, just because it seems to be a better fuel for 
this type of shit. They're a nice set of fucking pistons. This is the key to the the tall deck, part of the tall deck 427 build. Use the 6.535 long connecting rods with these pistons. And these pistons are made for For a 6.135 rod or a 3.760 stroke, 60 over uh, 0.765 compression height. Echo in Mexico, better than fucking China, I guess. These are actually made in 12, 28, 16. So, they've been on the shelf for a minute. Easy yeah, twelve and a half to one compression dome pistons, which I think gets with a hundred and nineteen cc chamber. My heads I believe they CC uh, about a hundred and fifteen cc chamber, so This is, these pistons are made for a 9.8 deck block. When I'm in that fucking tall block, just run that 6.535 long rod. I got some Molnar H beams I'm gonna use. And I got the, there's the Ford steel crankshaft. It, Come out of that beast. I'm gonna reuse that motherfucker. Thing tougher than fucking nails. Of course I'm not. Well, it's fucking standard now. Looks like it could take a polish in and run with it. I'm gonna get all this shit balanced together. That big fat parting line on it. Clue that it's forged. Yes, yeah, it's gonna get gussied up for the cause. But nonetheless, I'm gonna run that fucking crank, run the Monar long rods, and then run these fucking pistons. And it'll work out in that 10.2 deck fucking block. out fine. There's the big 10.2 decker. Got that son of a bitch peeled back. That fucking block's in excellent condition. You know, I could probably get by without fucking decking it, but I'm going to just to uh, get the piston up to the level with the top of the deck. I'm going to use a 39 thick head gasket and 
give me a nice tight fucking quench. Make more power. Make more compression too. Yeah, fucking box in damn good condition. It's obviously a low mile unit, which kind of shit these things come in. Usually were used around farms and shit and never left the fucking property, so they never did have many miles put on. A few of them put in over the road trucks and shit, but this wasn't one of them. This was in a fucking dump truck that was used for a construction company, so it didn't travel across the country. How many miles it has. This fucking thing was actually rebuilt back in 95. I took it apart. The bearings were dated 95. This is a 59 block, so somebody got in there back in the mid 90s and probably gave it rings and. Hell, I think it's 40 over, too, actually. So they gave it pistons and rings and bearings and rebuilt a stock. Probably dropped it back in the old dump truck. And, but I think it was parked in the early 2000s, so this fucker didn't have many miles on it. It wasn't too bad to get it apart. It was froze up at first, but a little bit of coercion with the fucking mallet. It's a liquor wrench. Just a lot of grunting and cussing. And that motherfucker came apart. The boards ain't in bad shape either. Hell, a motherfucker can just hone that son of a bitch out and run with it. But these pistons, I got these, this is 40 over. These pistons I got are 60 over, so. Which I like a 4.310 bore with these Mark IV big block Chevys. I fucking pretty much automatically just bore them 60 over whether they need it or not. Shrouds the fucking valves and shit, makes the heads flow a little better. It's just fucking better. There you go. Ford dome pistons for 427. They're going in the tall deck, but they're made for a 9.8 deck. Icon pistons. I got them from Competition Products. I highly recommend that place. They got them to me in like two fucking days. So, you can't go wrong with Competition Products. There you go.